Hello, beautiful darlings. We are about to embark upon the journey of a game that I have been eagerly awaiting, which is Zao. Is everything good? Continue. All right, cool. Warning, read before playing. I'm not reading that. <laughs> um, Zao, Tales of Kanzara Zao, is a game that I have been aware of for a while due to the fact that um, one of my favorite recent TV shows, um, Raised by Wolves, there's a character by the name of Father who's constantly concerned. Father is, a, is a, like basically an android who cares for a child named Campion. And the actor is unbelievable. Like Campion is constantly running around this alien planet being like, I'm gonna eat bees, you know, just being like so reckless. And Father's always like, Campion, just the most sincere, loving, fatherly tone. Oh my goodness, Campion. Loved, 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 loved that uh, uh, show and character. And I learned that that actor had founded a studio named uh, Surgeon Studios, and they were working on a game, and that's all I knew. And then I saw all the footage come out during the recent, um, um, what is it, the Game Awards? I think it was the Game Awards. I don't remember the names of all these things because they all sort of blend together in my mind. I accept that. Progress text automatically. This seems fine, 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 fine. All right. Gamma correction. I'm always a high gamma pro gamer. Graphics mode. Performance always. So I'm keep getting, keep getting distracted. But yeah, no, at uh, the Game Awards, I saw the footage for this, and I was like, oh, it's a sexy looking Metroidvania game. And I was immediately like, oh, I'm definitely playing that. And in my usual style, I didn't watch or read anything afterwards. I just had decided I was going to play it. And uh, as many of you know, um, I was originally intending on streaming this at launch day, but my darling sweet doggy passed away last week. And so um, I didn't stream all last week. I'm hopping in today, and I think it's very apt that we're playing a game about uh, whose topic touches on grief on a time when we're experiencing that ourselves. And so I'm looking forward to having ourselves a wonderful time. And is that is that Abu Bakr Salim himself in chat right now? By the way, apologies if my pronunciation is terrible. Um, but it's amazing, it's amazing to have you stop. It's, it's, it's father himself. Father. Oh. Anytime I absolutely dunk my body straight off a cliff and die, I just I just hope that wherever you are, you're seeing my death in game and going, <gasps> Campion. <laughs> hey, Unright with the 20 thrifty gifties. We're gonna go on a new journey. Thank you, Unright. Always and save slot three. Thanks, Unright. Happy Wednesday to you. This is a work of fiction, but I am not. Generally. Well, we memory of those who touched our lives. This game's gonna make me cry, isn't it? Hey, Ed, it's good to see you. Oh, this game's gonna make me cry, isn't it? All right. All right, it's okay, I got my tissues over Every here. Every story begins at the end of another. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. And yes, I am playing on the PS5. My console of choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Abzi Babsy, cheers to you and congrats on the launch. You say thanks for supporting. Thanks for making a game. Do you realize how easy it is as a content creator when you have good games to play? Oh, piece of cake. You did all the hard work. Thanks so much. All right. No way. Is this a game that's actually letting me play at the very outset? All right, let me pull this audio down just a smidge. Oh, yeah. All right, go inside. I'm ready to complete my first quest. The fact that I can't jump in my own home, I mean, that really, I feel like, is a design I, flaw. I can't. Zuberi? Ugh. All right, speak to mama. 
Sorry, sorry. Surgeon Studios, there you go. Maybe you don't feel like jumping. Well, in real life, I don't jump very much. My physique is not really built for jumping. <laughs> Why is that snowman trying to float away? Blueberry. Mama. Oh, yeah. Dude. I A number of games, particularly indie games, have done this sort of uh, blend of exaggerated comic book-esque stylization. Plus some, like, 3D lighting on them. I mean, notably, I know Hades, um, their art director, Gen Z, does a lot of really beautiful illustrations that kind of have this, and I've just been seeing this more in the last five, ten years, and I just love it. It's so effective, but I also love how um, these sort of comic-esque characters really match the 3D model. I miss him, Ma. I miss him so much. I know. I miss him too. This game's gonna make me cry. Isn't Maybe it? if you go to see him, pay your respects. Ugh. No, I, I can't. I, I can't do that yet. Ugh. Zuberi. Mama, I can't. Yep. Yep. See, I, I, I just got the tissues early. It's fine. We're okay. Yo, We're bye bye. Okay. He... He left this for you, for the days after, when Baba found out he was sick. Oh, Baba. The look on his face, the anxiety, Ugh. the fear, the anger, even a little confusion. But he had this sudden drive <sighs> to write. He started this book. I think he wanted to make sure he had a good story to tell his son. What's it about? I don't know. But maybe it is for you to find out. Hmm. All right. I'm ready to read the book. And the remainder of the game Take is turning the pages time, of the book. Zuberi. Slowly turning one page after the other, inspired by my playthrough of Skyrim. And more like Morrowind. All I did Morrowind was collect the books, make a bookshelf, and put them in order, and then read them and go, oh, I collected the chapters of a book. My story began at the end of a world I once knew. Oh yeah, we got the title. Oh, it's title o'clock. Unright says, all I did in Marwin was jump off of tall objects to increase my jumping ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The shaman's path is one of healing. One of guiding. Oh, yeah. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding. Who watches the watchman? But Doc, I am Pagliacci. Baba. <laughs> Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Ugh. Oh. Kalunga, God of Death. Hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death. Come to me. Kalunga, God of Death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now this, Kalunga, this game is very beautiful. God of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? Seriously, I'm busy. I'm in the middle of watching one of my soaps. It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow, Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed. I know the tale. I know how I work. I know me. I'm me. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? I'd like to uh, 
make a long-term investment to get uh, dad back? My Baba. Ugh. A sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. Yeah, this game is making me cry. Uh, but those who fail, Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to maintain some composure here. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, you know. It could be just due to, you know, the very recent loss of my dog, Cece. But uh, there's something about a number of games that, at the very start, they want you to care about your character. I remember in Ori and the Blind Forest, I literally teared up. And I don't even think there was any words in the intro to Ori and the Blind Forest. It was just a beautiful sequence that felt so, so sad. And I cared. I cared about the character. I cared about the journey for this character. And on the complete opposite, um, was it Fallout 4? I think it's like your your baby's been taken. And I was like, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go scavenge for guns. <laughs> uh, there sometimes in games they're just like, you care about this person. You want to save them, right? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman. My father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. You know, I think one thing I like about this early storytelling is it is deeply steeped in a blunt, clear motivation. I think a lot of times I don't like at the start of games when they're trying to introduce so much world building and so much characters and so much, oh, did you know that the festival is happening at the end of the summer season? You should definitely go talk to so-and-so who is the consulate attending this uh, you know, important meeting, and I'm just, it's just info dump, info dump. There's no emotion, there's no motivation, there's no I will show drive. you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. I'm ready to go east. I assume east is to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at me go. Oh, my God, look at me go. Oh, I can, I, I can shoot. Oh, my God. I'm used to playing a Metroidvania game for eight hours before I can do anything more than a single jump. You look at these statues with anguish, Mganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear, awe. Oh. My Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we pass through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls <laughs> now you. Now it sucks a it's little bit, doesn't it? Like a little bit, it sucks, huh? Spirits. <laughs> no. I am reminded of my Baba. Ugh. New codex entry, so I can smash this. Oh, yeah. Amani Amandla Patakatifu. If I select is just tell me more. The great plain lands of Amandla are the home of Zhao, in the far south of Kanzara. Formerly the home of the Amandlans, they were a hardy and tough people, always seeking the pleasure in simplicity, placing spiritual connection above materialism or wealth. <laughs> Which is the exact opposite of California. Sanctuary of memories and great tales, Patakatifu forms the old crossroads that connects the lands of Kanzara. Built in honor of the great spirits, many would visit the ancient pool to honor the past, reflect on the present, and look forward to a hopeful future. Yeah, the aesthetic of this game is just really nice. I mean, I, I, I will say I, I'm slightly tickled by how 
every every Metroidvania game uh, and Ubisoft dev, it feels like everyone got together and went, this is the way the menu looks, right? You have the... We're, we're just going to do this like this, right? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Server-side squids says, wait, is this game Swahili? My understanding is that it is rooted in Bantu myth. That is that is my understanding. Now, I'm not someone who knows a lot about mythology in general. Um, so, please feel free to enlighten me. Alright, I'm getting out of this codex. I'm ready to play a video game. I just want to walk around. Mm. I have double jump right up. I do not say this to mock you, Zhao, but this is not easterly. I know what I am doing. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> you look at these statues with when I was young, you would admire these statues. And every time now you look at no. Alright, we're gonna go east. I know what I am doing. Johnny Tidelip says, I love seeing mythology for cultures not represented much in games. Yeah, I feel like any rich mythology has this sense of internal consistency and depth and richness. And it's like that combination I find completely intoxicating. And, you know, when you have characters, God beings, worlds, cultures, visual motifs, like every single thing has some reference connected to the mythology. It just, it feels, it's so fun. I just want to take a moment to look at some of the, oh, look, look, look at some of the water effects. Oh, look at me. Oh yeah. So if I hold X. All right. Is, uh, is this one of the first Metroidvania platformery style games that starts you a double jump? That's crazy. Wanderers Pass. Oh, you're going to make me double jump? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. color. Oh, yeah. Look at the color. Oh. Oh! Oh! And I have... Wait, I have double jump and air dash from the start of the game? Oh, speedrunners. Congratulations. Hold on, I actually have to move a window over here. Alright. And I'm back. Ah, I see. The codex includes the tutorial. Oh, get me out of here. Characters, creatures, locations. Hadithi. I don't know what this is. Echoes. Tutorials. Carol. Oh, dude, Kellogg says, Hey, Dan, I watched your Elden Ring playthrough not too long ago. I wanted to thank you for the entertainment good stuff. Hey, thank you. And hey, I love you too, Blade Man Man. Is that Blade Man or Bade Man? My stupid chat keeps popping. It's Bade Man. It's Bade Man Man. Mask of the Moon. Malicious and deadly spirits roam the land of Kinzera and his power of the mask to defeat them. The Mask of the Moon excels in both long range attacks and crowd control techniques. Press this to perform a light attack. Alright. Oh, L2 is A. Dude, I can. I, it just lets me do all the things at the start of the game. So I can also aim while I'm in the air by just changing the controller direction. Oh, that hurt a lot. All right, 
dude. Oh, I see. It's, it's quite quite a tutorial, huh? So I want to see something. If I use all this charge, can I still do a heavy attack? Okay, so that's just for my ranged attack. You wield a powerful mask. <laughs> I use it to conceal all of my feelings. Um, dude. Okay, wait a minute. All right, listen. I have a complaint of mine from past playthroughs that I'd like to share with you because it's my channel. Hold on. How many times have you played a game recently where it's like, oh, you're going to unlock all these incredible powers and like, you know, it shows you an attack and then you just do an attack for, sorry, I didn't mean to punch this. You, you just attack for 30 minutes and then you get a dash and you just have dashing puzzles for 30 minutes. And then you get a second attack for 30 minutes. And then, you know, on one hand, I am a big proponent of when a game actually gives you opportunity to enjoy the mechanics and enjoy the experiences that are there. And I've talked before about this is great. It's getting me excited for what cool things will happen. And then suddenly I've unlocked double jump and dash and two different abilities and the game ends. And it's like, ah, awesome progression, right? And it's like, uh, uh. The game that slowly introduces to you five abilities and says, and you get to pick which five you're using at any time. And I'm like, oh, yes. How many abilities are we working with? And they're like, eight. You get to pick five of eight. Not cool. Bleh. Bleh. And so, I mean, I, I appreciate that this game just starts you off and is like, yeah, you want to double jump and dash and... Here's a bunch of uh, combat mechanics. Like, just literally, we're five minutes in. And for someone who's played a lot of these games, they're all very, very, very familiar. I suddenly feel like I'm being dumped in a late game. I use the to channel my power. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. You don't understand health insurance in America. It's actually a real pain. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. <laughs> I can't believe you just called me a gazelle. That's a real douche move. Alright. Inflict inflicting damage against enemies rewards Zao with spirit. Press this to heal. Healing consumes spirit. Zao can find healing orbs. Alright. I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side. And these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by right. performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Uh -huh. A sealed gate. No matter, there must be a key nearby. Show me the lock before you show me the key, baby. Interact. Ugh, it's locked. I will show you the strength of the sun. Oh. The mask of the sun. The mask of the sun grants out brutal melee power. Hit the shit out of your buttons as you'd expect. Okay. Very satisfying. Dude. A powerful mask with no question a powerful history. Yeah. The mask of the sun. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intention. Hmm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? <laughs> Look at Sal's hands on his not just a boy now, huh? Because I I have sun power. 
Look how proud Zao is. I've never seen someone so smug in my life. Only time will tell. The sun, the moon. I must embrace the dance. All right, what's my switch button? I can't believe it's just giving me all the mechanics right away. I, I literally can't believe it's just giving me all the mechanics right away. Now, keep in mind, I, unlike many of you, I'm a gamer, so it doesn't actually startle me. I'm used to it. What? Ology. It is the spiritual property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. You got it. When the time is right, Use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Okay. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever. All right. Ulaji is a soul energy acquired from defeating enemies and breaking open Ulaji crystals. Gain Ulaji to earn shaman points. Shaman points can be spent to upgrade Zhao's skills. Ooh. Okay, so Ulaji is money. So now I get to pull this, I see. Drawers vet says, but is it plus 40 years old friendly? I mean, pressing those rapid key binding combos is hard nowadays. I will say, as as I'm as I'm hitting the buttons, I can feel like my vitamin deficiency kicking in. Like I would recommend taking some Centrum Silver before playing this game if you're my age. It is it is a little hard on the hips. Uh, it, it it might be a little challenging to play this game after you're done refinancing your home loan. I will admit. But I think that you can, I think you can pull it off. Oh my god, Beastie Cutie just raided us. Beastie Cutie, how do you duty? Oh my god, hello all the Beastie Babies. Oh, let me just say, it is such a delight to be raided by you, Beastie Cutie. I watch you probably three or four mornings out of every week. For those of you who don't know Beastie Cutie, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care about any other results. Yeah, Marine Lord's great, etc. BC Cutie is like the greatest Age of Empires 4 player. Certainly the greatest Age of Empires 4 streamer. Was a former um, StarCraft 2 content creator. Very, very, very good StarCraft 2 player. Just generally good at RTS games, period. But it's a delight to have you here, BC Cutie. Welcome, everyone. We're playing uh, a recently released Metroidvania platformer called Zao. And it is beautiful. You can see I'm super good at it. Oh, there's a waterfall there. Okay. And I, uh, how's this game so far? I'd say it's it's 95% nice. The 5% is that I wish it just slowed down the introduction of the mechanics just a little bit. Because I, I, I like spending time just enjoying jumping and enjoying motion and looking around. But I mean, if combat's pretty dynamic, I will admit. Oops. Except when you walk straight into things like I just did there. You move with a fury, shaman. Fury and grace. The character's pre-prepared dialogue's pretty impressed with me, huh? The mask of the sun and the moon. <laughs> Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Is the aiming smooth? It's really straightforward. I literally, you literally just hold the thumbstick, and the direction is pretty good about Never knowing where you want to aim. Never hold one more than the other. It is a balance. Kamau hai, makifu.
All right, here we go. Moving along. See, you can aim directly by holding a button, but you can also just hold the left thumbstick. Jump, 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 dash. Oops. HP gain. I assume this knocks it through. Oh, I, I've played an eSports or two. All right, down the hatch. Oh, I see. A floating griot idol. Do you feel that too? That's energy. I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. Do it. You'll gain progression. I'm like, oh, I love progression. Oh, I'm ready to progression my heart out. Okay, press R2 to hear the echo. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Sorry, I, I accidentally unplugged my controller. Uh, there it is. I have a cord underneath my foot. Find the key. There's the key. Finally. Now to the gate. So I'm going to go to my map and see. Oh, dude. That audio. Yeah, dude, Phoebeus, it's so good to see. You. Yeah, you like my hair? I shaved my head because you can see that, like, right here, it's really having a hard time. <laughs> but Vlem, if you're looking for a Steam Deck game, uh, yeah, Bellatro's good. Slay the Spire's good. But I mean, honestly, I think that Metroidvanias are ideal. You could consider playing Tales of Kanzara Zao. You could do that. My favorite Metroidvanias are Hollow Knight. Press those to perform a spirit attack. Mask of the Moon's attack is a Lunar Blast. Supernova. This visual is exactly how my cat sounds when she's meowing at five in the morning. Open the key. Zhao, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. Oh my god, Blem says, I remember I tried watching Sopranos. <laughs> tried watching Sopranos on a flight and realized that HBO shows are probably not the best thing to watch for a flight. Dude, oh my god. I was reading this comic book series called 100 Bullets. The premise of 100 Bullets is really cool. It's that the, the first chapter opens with um, a woman who gets out of jail and she's on the tram home and a man sits next to her gives a briefcase and says in this briefcase you will find an attache that the person who actually killed your husband is not who you thought it was and here's indisputable evidence of who it was also in this briefcase 
are 100 bullets and a gun. If any of these bullets are found at a crime scene, the case will be dropped immediately. So you have 100 bullets of carte blanche to do as you please with. And then he walks away. And that's a really sweet premise, right? What would you do if you had 100 bullets of carte blanche? And it gets very grisly in terms of the violence and nudity. <laughs> and I'm like on an airplane and I'm like turning the page and I'm like, this looks like I'm reading porn. <laughs> I just should probably put this away. I don't want to be just like casually just grinding through this. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried yeah. and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba. Get to the great spirit. New shaman point game. Skills moon. Sun. Oh. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe active reload has not been a thing. I can't believe it. All right, I'm gonna... So I think it's that... That flick ding, flick ding. I see. So if I go tap, tap, tap and hit it when the flick ding. So if I hit it as fast as I can, that's what happens. But if I time it. I have never quite heard, or I've never really played a game that does that audio cue quite so precisely. That is interesting. I like that. What? Is this just a sign? The girl has a little tin voice. Give her a moment. Let her finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, Get out of the way! Huh? Move! Please! Oh, ah, to be in a hurry. Oh! Just trying to do my combo. So every step, another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly how I deal with conflict, sir. What? What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours. That you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. Exactly how people explain that I really need to get to episode 200 of Bleach before it really picks up. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? Yeah, I'm in a hurry. What? You wish to walk this path. Do it with respect. What do you mean? I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Ugh. 
That girl up by the bridge. <clears throat> she was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Well, if she has valuable information, I suppose I should give her a little respect. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. Find a way out. Oh, oh, it's me. It, yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? Mm -mm -mm. I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Oh, I like challenges. Excuse me, I'm day nine. Not every challenge needs a, a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it. Yeah. One that only we can use. You don't understand. I I can platinum the game if I go this way. All I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice has always is yours. If you believe you can, then you must. But be cautious. Dude, this game does a lot with lighting. I'd like to remind all of you that I'm a gamer. Okay. Everybody shut up. Everyone just... Hush. I know what I'm doing. I'm a gamer. Alright. Let me not hold the left analog stick. So I... Do I need to time this? Oh! God, come on! What?! Why can't... I'm hitting the button! No! What? what? Okay. This is... You have no idea how hard it is. You shut the fuck up. You have no idea. Oh, shit! I did it! Oh, shit! You have no idea how hard that is. Okay, you have to hit it at the exact timing. Fucking God! All right, hold on. Like, hold on. Oh God, I'm like, I'm, I'm a trash shaman. That's the problem. Oh my God, the first fucking wall of fucking spikes. I don't believe this. Oh God, that's so hard. Okay, it's actually a challenge. All right, fine. Fuck you, the first set of spikes is so stupid. Get under, jump. No, oh, don't land on the spikes. Oh my god, it responds so fast. It's just an endless torture chamber. Get! Ah, I jumped! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, I hate this first wall of spices, so let's do a fucking drilling. God. Alright, hold on. Hold on. I don't know if you know this, but this symbol means greatness. And while fools chase it, it tends to find heroes. Like your pal Day9. What we're going through is simply a lost and found. This is greatness discovering me. Bron says, doing this on purpose for entertainment value. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go. You know what? You're right. You're right. This is just a fun little gag. Let me just nail it on the first try now. <laughs> Fucking, someone ban that guy. Someone... Oh, I, I should double jump that. Oh, fuck. That's the best I'd ever done. Okay. Double jumping is what I was forgetting to fucking do. Okay. It's first wall of spikes. God, 
I'm just not expecting to get through the first wall of spikes. You know what? I'm going to stop holding the left analog stick. Do I go the same distance? So here's when I'm just standing. Okay, so I don't need to hold the analog stick. Okay. This, I mean, it's like, you have to be perfect. This first wall of spikes, man. Oh my god! Dude, Kalunga's watching being like, this fucking guy's never getting his dad, man. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's it for Baba, let me tell you. See you later. Oh my god! Ugh! Ten minutes is to confirm there's no crouch, right? There's a crouch. Oh my god, fuck. Oh my god, fuck. This is really embarrassing. Oh my god, Kalunga's never gonna help me get my dad back, man. He's been watching this shit just like, ugh. Oh my god, this feels really bad. I did this in front of all these people, didn't I? I did that in front of all of you. You know what? I'm really upset that Beastie Cutie raided us. I'm having a tough day. This is horrible. Oh, this is the worst feeling in the entire universe. All right. Oh, oh, oh my god. All right. This is the game. This is the game that was brought to us today. Shout out to Sir Gent Studios. Hooray. Biohazard 020, thanks for the five gifted subs. I love when people support all this gameplay. I'm gonna fucking burst into tears. <laughs> oh shit, man, you just... Sean, is a question. There isn't perhaps, I don't know how to say this, a way to crouch. Hey, look, it's a metaphor. <laughs> oh, no! I have to go through it again? All right. Hold on, greatness is on its way to me. <laughs> oh, it, it, feels, it genuinely feels pretty bad. I did it! Battering stance. I wish I'd had that before I read your messages. All right. Damage inflicted by slamming enemies into each other. The environment is increased. Only can only equip trinkets at a workbench. I've seen these before. A shaman's trinket. See how delicate it is. Powerful too. <laughs> yes. You are lucky, Zhao. Because that definitely wasn't skill that got you there. Disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted. For good. For greatness. Wait, did I, I just walk by a workbench? There was a workbench up there, wasn't there? That's okay. I know how to get through this. I know how to get through this. I know how to get through this. It's like not a big deal. Okay. There's no workbench. There's no workbench. There's no workbench. There's just, there just isn't a workbench.
Oh! In those first weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. <laughs> oh, I see that little number that's to my right is my is my shots. Call me Shawnee Eight Shots. actually hard to do, man. Did you really think that a bridge would best me? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Didn't you see yourself during those trials? You have in me. Yes, it does. Oh, Shaman Trinket. Workbenches are used to equip Shaman Trinkets. Let's go. It's Shaman Trinket time. Using it. Lifted spirit. Juggling enemies in combat. Increasing amount of spirit gain. Oh, that is the slot. Look at these little guys. Oh, holy... nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, Zhao. Oh, God. Alright, what's over here? Oh, my God. This video game is punishing. Kind of. I just respawned right where I was. Peek at the map. So, what is the legend here? Oh, that's where I just need to go. So, I'm kind of curious how this map is doing what I have and haven't explored. Because, like, for instance, I see this whole map area over here, but I haven't been able to explore it. To my understanding, at least. So am I just to remember that this is where I can't go through? I assume as much. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Okay. Oh, I see. It's it very hard. All right. Dude, there's something about just free form moving from A to B in games like this that just feels so pleasing. Oh. There's nothing behind the waterfall? Uh, excuse me, never mind. I think these people have never made video games before. Jumbos, pay them no caution. They do not seek to offend or harm. Can't believe it. Truly, they are good people. Their only wish is to care. They rejuvenate and welcome others. They help. Come, take a moment. A traveler must rest to know the ground has shifted. All right. Say. Oh, it's a fast travel. It's actually really nice where they show it faded if I visited it. 
Ah, so there's what we haven't explored yet. Or up here. Ooh. 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 Have you tried crouching behind the waterfall? Star lad, please bang yourself in my chat. Shaman shrine. That statue. It looks just like the sun and moon masks. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Howdy, it's me, your pal Day9. Just come to see what's going on. <laughs> I have a sense the, technically the entire game is behind the first waterfall. Uh, I guess that's good. Bomba Stone. Wearing the moon mask, hold L2 and use L to aim, press R2 to launch Bomba Stone. Freezing enemies or moving the water. What? I feel different. I feel, wait for it, chill. Really good, right? Really good, right? You can find me on YouTube. I'm on Twitch. I'm on the internet. Look me up. I make jokes. Hadithia Bamba. <laughs> ha ha ha. The tells us his legend. Funny. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Funny. Bamba took a small stone, <laughs> imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highlands peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba Stone. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> funny. What is funny? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Bamba Stone? <laughs> Is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well. <laughs> a lot of things have silly, silly names. Mama Stone, which one to really freeze it? Oh, see in the bottom left, you're seeing these three symbols fill up. So if I shoot it and then I hold, it'll eventually show all three of them filling up. Interesting. Dude, that, look at that UI. Look at that UI, that's good. I have never seen that before. I have never seen that before. That is insane. Oh my God. I've never seen that in a Metroidvania game. Am I, am I crazy? Is it a me thing? Oh my God. They keep detonating. Healing. I keep forgetting. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, that's right, this guy's armored.
I'm so bad at this time. Give me active reload, man. Alright. I walked away. I didn't get detonated. I'm so sick. Looks like the game is just beginning. Yeah, I've been playing this game for like less than an hour, T-Bars. Kanunga? Do all shamans get shines? No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. Hmm. All right, so... I mean, that is so sweet. Does this hurt? No, this is just decorative spikes. I mean, that is so, that is so insane. That is an insane mechanic. You know, I think that, like, my... My only real criticism of this game is that there's cool combat cool mechanics, satisfying platforming, and it's just not quite giving me enough time with each thing. I want to spend more time with it. You know what I mean? Hold on one second, get water. Smashed over my PS5. Lee! Ah, hi, Lee! Alright. Leaving for water. We ran out of water, so went to the faucet. Okay, so. Like, you know, a lot of these mechanics, like just switching between the two combat modes. Can I freeze this, actually? Switching between these modes is really fun. I kind of just want more time doing combat, want more time doing platforming, want more time dashing about doing things. I really think that's one of the biggest strengths of Hollow Knight is that it gave you um, it, it gave you some basic mechanics. Well, I, I don't want to do this, do I? I want to just... Gives me a bunch of awesome mechanics in combat. A bunch of er <laughs> Let me get back to what I was saying, because I kind of forgot I lost track of my mind. In Hollow Knight, it did a really good job of giving you some new mechanics to enjoy. And then giving you a lot of time to play with. Like quite a lot of time. And then you got another mechanic. And then you got a lot of time to explore and play with. And I mean I think that. Just kind of decompressing the, and lengthening out some of the sequences in Hollow Knight just felt really, 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 really nice. So by the end, I'd felt like I was really on a super long uh, adventure. Because I, I think I've told this story before that um, one of the things that I always recommend that if you're trying to get into game development, what's a good first game to do? I'm a big fan of doing platformers. Um, either a Metroidvania-style platformer or, you know, a Mario-style, just level-by-level -level platformer or a, a jumping-challenge-type platformer like Super Meat Boy or Celeste. There, it's just a nice genre to do as a first project because you can get to gameplay really, really, really quickly. You know, contrast this with something like an MMO where the technology to be able to have a bunch of people playing in the same server 
is a ton of effort before your first play with other people. So anyways, um, I told the story before that I had this, this platformer uh, prototype I was just working on uh, with a friend for some fun. And there was this section where there was this puzzle and then there was a door and then here's another little platforming puzzle and then a door and another little platforming puzzle. And you went from section A to B to C. And it, it felt weird. I don't know how else to describe it without getting into too nitty gritty in the weeds, but it just, it felt weird. It felt like it didn't really, the pacing felt odd. So we simplified some of the puzzles and then it felt more boring. So we escalated the length of the puzzle and everything still felt a little bit weird. But the change that we wound up doing is we went back to the original version of section A, B, and C, and we did section A, and then we kind of had a long hallway with some incredibly basic platform. Like you walked for 10 seconds and then jumped over something, walked for another 10 seconds, and there was section B. And just having breathing room seg segments suddenly made it feel much more well-paced, much more grounded. It just felt better. And it was an interesting little thing because it was a super simple little for fun project that wasn't going to go anywhere. My Baba will have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hadith. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakarambangar. Wait a minute. And I mean, it could be the case that this sensation that I'm talking about could just start to happen right now. And I should really have just shut up. God, that is so satisfying to just hit that. On the time. I can't get the last one. Oh, I think you actually can do the last one. All right. Hey, that one, James. Yeah, this game is a very, very satisfying Metroidvania platform. I mean, literally what I'm experiencing right now is exactly the thing that I'm talking about. Where like, hey, I just did a, a sequence and now I'm just kind of walking from A to B. Look at this incredibly simple task it is to just jump over that stuff. Wait a minute. Oh my god, that is so, so sick. I cannot believe how unbelievably good that is. That is so sick. And then I get to wall jump off this? So I can't do that jump off there. God, that's so cool. The game is terrible! Oh, now I understand why this is here. I mean, this is very awesome. That is so good. Over the broken bridge, Zhao. Please do not fall this time. Oh, it's so good. Ah! Ah. Oh. Full little underground section. It is surprising to see Anika Karamban. When the storms became violent, most had fled. <laughs> all of us. What is the girl doing out here all alone? Who is she calling to? All questions for the girl to answer. Until then, you should be considering your apology to her. 
You frightened her, Zhao. You owe her one at the very least. Come on, you literally screamed at a child. The Basenji's sorry lick is mightier than its proud bite. Ah, uh, okay, I get it. All right. Gangrene says, it feels so weird to me that the second jump doesn't gain much height. I actually think this is correct because most games are played in like 16 by nine. And so like being able to do lots of horizontal movement and emphasizing horizontal movement where really the double jump is a way to get more horizontal means that you can see and understand and plan and wrap your head around what you're looking at and how you're moving a lot more easily. Alright. Do you jump farther if you crouch jump? It's a mean question, Osiris, but I did test it. The answer is no. The Great Cliffs. Wait a minute, do I have enough for another skill point? I do! Oh my god, I was misreading this the entire time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So good, it makes him yellow for me. All right, all right, yes. Oh no, this game sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Following this. Oh my god, I almost fell for it. Well, the problem with active reload is that it's a skill based maneuver, which I'm running a little low on right now. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, she has armor. So the armor, I think they don't get staggered by my swing. Oh, I, I just said that they don't get staggered. Press this to heal. Dude, I love the jump animation where you do the little flip. And then if I'm in my sun mask when I jump, I do a little twirl. I mean, it's just, it's just so good. Blizzard month no more. Uh, Gentry, we're going to be doing some Blizzard stuff next week. I just haven't put it on the schedule. We're definitely going to be playing some Heroes of the Storm next week. We're going to be playing some World of Warcraft. Probably some Hearthstone. I might do, like, Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone and No Rest for the Wicked. for Warcraft Rumble. Oh, 
Okay, okay. My, my criticism that I was saying earlier, I no longer really feel. I think that the, the, it has slowed down and it has a really good mix of movement and combat. Cause like for instance, since I have gone through this little tube here, walking up, this was just basically some walking, some moving, some walking, a little combat, little platforming, little combat, little platforming. And I strongly expect that there's just going to be a little bit of exploration type stuff that happens over here. Nice. The Ambos. Long had they been a myth to some, but Zhao knew them to be real. Cyrus says, I really enjoy your SC2 cast. Also seeing your reaction to retail get reacted to by so many major WoW content creators is pretty great too. Yeah, I, I have not actually, I'll be honest, that video went up when I was spending two weeks fully away from the internet. So I, I actually have no idea how many or who really reacted to that WoW content. Which, as a content creator, is just such a, such just like a dude, Sean. What are you doing? You you you, you have to get on that, Dana. You're a content creator. All the collaboration opportunities slipping through your fingers. My God. Gone to Wild Classic because your playthrough. Hell yeah, Ultimate awesome Wombat. I really liked Wild Classic. I'm not gonna Such lie. Curious creatures, young at heart, a touch naive, perhaps. Nice. But they mean well. <laughs> I do like them. Nice to have some creatures out here that are not trying to maim me. go up or down? I'll go up. Why not? I'm gonna go down. Why not? We're gonna try out Season of Discovery. I, I have no opinions right now about any of that stuff. Uh, Osiris, I'm gonna try to spend the next week or two just kind of getting my head back in the game as it were. I've had a not good... Throw myself off the cliff. Does it deal more damage? Motherfucker. Fucking fucking. God, oh, God. That was incorrect. The game is not letting me cross the thing. That's where I, I literally land. I saw myself land on the other side. There it is. Was I supposed to go this way? What can you do? Oh. Oh. I think berating the game is what you did. That's how dare you accuse me. Such a thing. I'm so offended.
It's so good. There's no crouching slide, right? I mean, it's just... It's always a crouching slide, it looks like. Ah! <laughs> Shit. A strange contraption. This requires an energy that you do not yet possess. You may not have played Metroidvania games, but this is a Metroidvania. Oh, that's what these things are. See, like, dude, that was just pleasing. Rumham6969 says, what was your final verdict on first time WoW? Um, I don't, I don't actually have... I don't know. I mean, retail, classic. Classic, I really enjoyed. Retail, I thought was pretty sweet, but the tutorialization process, I was not a big fan of. I found it very confusing. I think maybe some of my overall evaluations. When I will Baba tell you after I was done talking. You would say if you did not feed them some of your catch, <laughs> it meant trouble. Boat breakers. Boat breakers. Boat breakers. They'll break your boats. I think the biggest thing that I felt out of WoW Classic and out of, to a lesser extent, WoW Retail, not because I think it had it less, but just because I, I didn't play very much WoW Retail. But I think the biggest feeling I have about WoW in general relates back to what I was saying about Zhao earlier on. There's many games that start to hint to you at a vastness. They hint to you about a progression. Something like, I'm in zone A, and it's awesome. Then I get to zone B, and it's even more awesome. And when I'm in zone C, I'm like, holy shit, this game rules. And then zone D is the end. And I go, oh, oh, your game is six hours long. Okay, all right, okay. All right. Same thing with ability progression. You unlock two abilities, and then a third, and then a fourth, and a fifth. And I'm like, man, how many abilities are in this game? And it's like, it's eight, and you pick five out of eight. There's this kind of ramp up of expectations, of excitement, and then it kind of, for many games, it flattens out. Um, some games that I think fell into this category for me was um, Jedi Fallen Order. Wow, look at the vastness of this game. Oh, actually, it's it's... There's not as many different enemies, and as many different moves, and as much progression, and so on. And I think that something that WoW does incredibly successfully is that it presents this um, set of area to explore. You start growing in power, you're getting more equipment, you have clear quests that you're trying to pursue, at least in Classic. This is the example I'm going to use. And then as you're leveling up, I hit level 10, and it suddenly shows that there's talent trees. And as I'm exploring, I'm just seeing how little I have gotten vision of. And there's this, this idea of like, man, what's at the tip of that mountain peak that I can see on the map that I can get to? What's there? And it's the, the answer is play for 10 more hours. You'll actually get that answer. And I think that that's... Ow. It's that escalating expectation that continues to be surpassed again and again and again, where I know for a fact that WoW has... Uh, dungeons that are interesting and it has really powerful loot and it has these insane raids like that that quality of there's more and even more and even more I don't get as much with a lot of uh, recently released games and sometimes it is nice to just play a single player game experience that you're done with in a few hours Gora Goa is a really surrealist puzzle game that takes a few hours to beat. Damn. Semazo, I know you love your Baba very much. I do. Inside is like that. It's a great but point. Tell me of your home. mama. Who was she? We should stay focused. Keep looking for the Ikakarambangal. 
And I think that games that are recent that kind of had that quality to me of like, wow, there keeps being more and more and more and more from a more single player world driven perspective, I would say um, Dark Souls 1, Elden Ring, certainly. Um, Factorio also felt that way, where there's continued, there was just this continuous escalation. Stardew Valley, honestly, the more you, I played Stardew Valley, the more I, I kind of had this regular, oh, okay, so I think I understand all the systems now. And then it would introduce a new area and a new consideration. And so um, when, I, when I played New World, I'll tell you this in a second. was his duty, his purpose, to heal those wandering souls so malformed by their own devastation. Um, um, when I played New World, it was like, oh, it's this MMO that has all this crafting and all this, like, growth and possibility. And I was kind of like, oh, what? I was like, oh, there's just actually not that much here. Like, I could, I could walk across the entire world in a relatively short amount of time. I don't know why, but I really want to shoot at this thing. Okay. Oh, time to not be a douchebag. So Working look, on a heart. There she is. Hey, Bujambo. <laughs> but little legs, you done fast, eh? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I wish to apologize. I should. Hey, no, wait, uh, wait. Wait! Why is she running? Why did you say she had little legs? Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Mm-hmm. Unright says, my wife currently works on New World. She wants to say how currently it's a wholly different experience than it was on launch. Yeah, yeah, I think that that is a very important thing to know, that I am not saying this is the way that I think it is right now. Just like, yeah, at launch, it just had a scope of smallness to it. Um, that, again, I don't necessarily have a huge issue with games that are a smaller, more intimate experience. I mean, I suppose that for an MMO, I was a little bit more like, I expect that this game will have a lot of stuff going on. And then when it didn't, I was a little... Um, the mismatch between my expectation around an MMO and the size of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, like, I bring up that New World example because... I think it serves to contrast what my experience was. Whoa! When I was playing uh, WoW versus New World. I swear to God I'm doing this. Increase maximum light charge to 12. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want all of these. Deflection seems cool. Wet fartos is what a treat to see. It says multiplayer games at launch really do keep coming up short. Oh, I'm holding the wrong button. Yeah, I think that's I think that's that's accurate. Because, I mean, I think that with a multiplayer game, like, if you have a single-player game and there's a level that's a little bit eh, you can improve it. You should be focusing on the great spirit. Remember, Zhao, a clever fennec can catch two hairs. What? The girl is bringing us closer to Ikakaramba. Right. Do you come up with these sayings yourself? Oh, I'm supposed to go here. This is the way I was supposed to go out. Got it. So fun. But uh, yeah, in a multiplayer game, if or in a single player game, if there's a level that's a little bit weak, like maybe it's an eight out of 10 compared to this other level that is a 10 out of 10, 
you know, you, you genuinely can, in isolation, work on that 8 out of 10 level, or you can just go, you know what, that's okay. We're gonna have a level that's only all right. And it's gonna sit alongside our really good stuff. However, if you are in a multiplayer setting and there is, say, a class that's an 8 out of 10, in terms of its quality, and there's another class that's a 10 out of 10, in terms of its, like, gameplay quality, well then, you actually have issues where, my god, the 10 out of 10 might be so strong that no one should ever use the 8 out of 10 character. Or card, or whatever it is. Or if there's some systemic problem, that's the only thing that you should do in that game, and you should do nothing else. For instance, this, um... I'm trying to think of some games... That, what are some multiplayer games that were in development that really just kind of faltered a little bit? Ah! I'm trying to remember. Like, not ones that launched... Just, th th there's this kind of weird thing that I feel like is true about, um... Multiplayer games, competitive multiplayer games, where they really feel like pass fail, not 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. So let me take, for example, the game we're playing right now, Zao. I would honestly expect that this game is going to land at like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 for me. I, I mean, I was probably sitting at 7 or 8, but now recently, like this is the, the, the pacing and the spacing of enemies and platforming is just perfect. It's just fucking perfect. It's probably going to land at like a 8 or 9 out of 10, and if it starts to really open up and get epic on the scope of Hollow Knight, it'll probably be a 10 out of 10 for me. That's my expectation. Or it could suddenly turn into a dating sim, and I would give it a 2. <laughs> but let's, let's for a moment imagine that this game wound up being an 8 out of 10 for me. If someone came to me and went, Dude, Sean, what'd you think of Zao? I'd go like, Oh, if you like Metroidvania games, you gotta play this game. Done. Hey, what did you think about some other Metroidvania games that are a little uh, less known? Well, I actually think that uh, Blast Brigade is one that not a lot of people have heard of, but I thought was great as well. So if you're interested in another one, cool, there you go. But when it comes to multiplayer games, it's like if there is an 8 out of 10 card game, I'm not going to play it because I have Magic. I have Hearthstone. If there is a, uh, you know, a tactical shooter, there's Counter-Strike or Valor. Why would, I, why would I do a third one? It needs to be substantially different and or better. And I think that for this reason, when you are working on a multiplayer game, multiplayer games are much more sensitive to small issues and small problems because so much, so many things are interrelated. Look, I just want to say I am sorry. No, no, wait. Classic gamer move. Annoying as a tokoloshi. Hey, I was really mean to you, and now I want you to stand in front of me so you can forgive me. Look at this environment. Look at this beautiful little ruin in the background. Dude, I am bizarre. What, what did you work on on the game? I'm curious. So that way we can log you in real time. No way. How did she get past here? Maybe she flew. Ah, Gwenda. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful ruin where I was. A little bit of everything. So I am Vazan. Did you do some voice acting? Ha! I caught you! And then you're like, uh, yeah, I actually, uh, yeah. Uh. <sighs> no, give me a break. So you're sweating. You are more than welcome to take over. Xfire says some mixed reveals uh, or reviews on Steam said the controls were a bit too floaty. Does it feel that way to you? Literally not even remotely at all. The winged creatures locked in the sky, suspended in the air. 
that piercing gaze fixed upon the I, I mean, that, that criticism is crazy. Dude, Unright, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the 20 gifties, and I hope you're having a great day. the different controllers will spawn differently. I mean, I've played so many platformers, I kind of accept how each platformer should feel. You know, I, I find some reviewers have tastes and they conflate their tastes with um, issues with the game. Down the hatch. I'm so smart, I'm such a gamer. Why is everything so dangerous? <laughs> so does a leopard from far away. Is dangerous? What up, Nathan I was RL? To do one of your sayings. I do not understand. Fine, fine. Challenge. No, I ran out of dash. I forgot that. Damn. Quite getting enough height. Arg B, you did the audio in this game, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. How 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 many folks from Surgeon are tuned in right now? This game is an achievement. Holy. Oh, what? Why did I fly up like that? Why? Ah! Jeez. Mamma mia. Why did I fly up? Retaliating spirit. When Zao was damaged by an enemy, he received spirit. Oh, yeah. Whew. Impressed? Mm. the corner of the platform? It looked like it. Eh. Well, hello, Surgeon Sweethearts, which I assume is the name of your company colleagues. Surgeon Sweeties. Thanks for stopping on by and hanging out with me. Uh, I'm gonna quit. I want retaliation spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Trapper Jesus says, is this better than the recent Prince Persia game you played? I get similar vibes, but maybe that's because they're both Metroidvanias and a similar art style. Um, yeah, I mean they're 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 Metroidvania games. Uh, my wife played through pretty much all of the Prince of Persia game. I like I got done streaming and I was like, Brit, you have to play this. That's how I talk.
All right, I missed everything. That is so awesome. Yeah, I think some of the notable differences between this and Prince of Persia is Prince of Persia was had a lot more bosses. And I will say, I'm a big, big fan of bosses. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I just thought the Prince Persia uh, game was great. Like through here, I couldn't get anywhere. You ever played the Guacamelee games? I have. I played the first Guacamelee, and I remember liking it, but it didn't really stick for me. Guacamelee felt um, it felt a little bit similar to Ori, in that Ori in the Blind Forest, it was just like a linear game. Yes, it technically was composed as a Metroidvania game, and it had a little bit of that feeling at times, but it's effectively a linear game. Guacamole, Guacamelee is also effectively a linear game. Let me just actually take a quick moment. I just want to use the restroom really quick. And by the way, we're streaming for about 45 more minutes. 45 more minutes is going to be about the number. Because typically on Wednesdays, I end at 4 p.m. PT. Sometimes I go a little longer. But not today. Ooh. Stop now. This is not funny. I... Oh, God. Hmm. Fast. You know, I know that this is a fictional story and I shouldn't be as bothered by this as I am, but have you ever known someone who's behaving like Zhao right now who first yells and or makes fun of you? So you disengage. They later feel bad and want to apologize to you. But there's two kinds of apologies in the world. One kind is where you go, dude, I feel bad for the harm I caused you, and I want to fix your pain. I want to apologize to you to make sure you feel better for what I did. I want you to feel good. Second kind of apology is, I feel bad for hurting your feelings. I need forgiveness. I I'm upset. I need you to take care of me. And it's when people do that second kind of apology. Dude, I was a dick to you. I'm really sorry. Get it. Things happen. Dude, I just really want to know that we're cool. Yeah, sure. Dude, like, I don't know. I feel like you're you're being, like, coy with me or something, man. Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I said I'm sorry. You know. All right. Jeez. Good. Fine. Or if you don't want... You know, I, I've had someone who was... They were a jerk to me. And they're like, I'm really sorry. And I was like, all right. And they're like, well, do you forgive me? And I was like, I don't know. It's not about forgiveness. I just don't appreciate the way you talk to me. And I, I don't know. I just, I want less for you to be sorry and more for you to not behave like me. Yeah. Dude, I said I'm sorry. All right, man, I'm going to go. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? You need to talk to me now. Oh, man, that sort of person. Mm -mm -mm. I am not a fan. And, you know, the thing is that, like, well, Sean, what do you expect them to say? I expect them to, if they're apologizing, to try to make me feel better. I expect them to do something like, dude, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and, dude, let me know any way that I can help. I'd be happy to. Yeah, no, I just, I really don't want to be spoken to that way. Completely agree. Not going to happen again. Right? No, it's a continued focus on me and my feelings throughout. It's like that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah Sarah says, dude, Sean, I posted in the chat, dude, Sean, respond, we have to talk now, huh? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? After my little example. You dare make a joke? Alright. Wanderers pass. No, no, I hit the wrong button. Ah! Oh, get me! 
Okay, that was close. <laughs> A little reconnection. Yes. Hell yeah. Has anyone ever heard of the game Knit? K N Y T T. An indie dev named Nicholas Nigren. Like, uh, Nicholas Nigren is this legendary indie game dev who was like making very, ah, very successful, uh, releases, at least in terms of downloads, um, way before there was even, you know, a lot of notions of the modern indie developer. Yeah, I'll explore here. And there was this little game experiment that he made called uh, Knit, I think it was called Knit Stories, or there was, he did a bunch of games with this character named Knit, K-N-Y-T-T. And in the in one of those games, there was just an area that you could explore, and that's it. There's just you just wandered around. There were no enemies, there was no death, there was no fall damage. It was just a little platformer where you just wandered around and looked at and explored stuff. And it was so compelling. Shamans would often rest in the hollow, meditating, considering life, death, and all between. Dude, happy 80 months, circle. Happy 121 months, Anthral. Grats on the 10 years, baby. You are a shaman now, Zhao. Perhaps such an act would yield a benefit to take a moment of respite, of reflection. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, baby, baby. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. He disintegr I first thought that was me that disintegrated. I was like, ah. You are smiling. All right, nice. My father would take me to the same baobab trees to meditate. And I would hate it. Every time he would go, he insisted it was good. When you are older, you will remember this, you know. Or when I am gone, you will remember how annoying you are at these moments. <laughs> and you will feel sorry for me. And you will laugh. <laughs> it was right. Oh, that's brutal. Health increased. Oh, yes. Oh, I love meditating, baby. Meditate is to heal. Any insomnia says the writing is so good. Yeah, no, like... <laughs> I'm still not used to the idea of a game with good writing. <laughs> so many games, goof-ass, Bad, mediocre writing steps in, and I'm like, that's fine, as long as the mechanics are fun. Oh! Then I'm okay. Pacing in the second half of this today's playthrough, the pacing should be perfect. I'm perfect. Maybe stories can be in games. 
Nah, Jess, stories don't belong in games. I'm, I'm a true gamer. I don't even like graphics. In fact, I don't want to play. I would rather just read a design document and imagine the gameplay perfectly. That's my ideal. <laughs> a clever Fennec can catch two hairs. The lift to Ikakaramba. Do you sense that? Yes. The lift is incensed with spiritual energy. Also, a fleeing must have been trapped. Hmm. Make your preparations, shaman. This will not be easy. Be ready, Zhao. Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh yeah, he's gonna have armor. Oh, I wanna change this. Dude, just spawn in front of me. I keep literally forgetting things that I declare aloud. Like, this dude has a armor on him. Oh, does this mean it can only take moon damage? Oh, I understand mechanic. Heal, 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 heal. Hit the fucking... Get up, you fucking guy! Oh, shit. Heal. Heal. Alright. Not very successful. What can you do? love this, that some of them require you to have certain powers on, because this does hardly any damage. Curious. If I power this up... Okay, hold on, hold on, I can do this. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Oh, I hit the button in time. I only just now realized... I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god. So I should switch to this and shoot the birds. Freeze this guy.
Oh, shit. I still need to be more careful. Shit, hit him with the thing. Oh my god. Okay, that was sweet. That was awesome. That was so good. Kalunga. Hmm. These great spirits. Why did they deny you? They all have their reasons. So they said no to you and you just left them. Denial is a path that winds without end. Mm. Yet the path to its destination, it cannot bend. I do not understand. In time, you will. All right. All right. I'm trying my hardest, I am Basm. I'm trying. Kakaramba. Dude, it just gives you the whole map. Holy. Man, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Dude, 215p. It says I'm eating Indian spicy food and drinking a craft beer IPA and watching Day 9 play a cool game. Am I the most hipster guy or the most cool? You're the most cool, dude. What would be hipster is if you were eating spicy Indian food, drinking an IPA that is so mossy in flavor, it's unclear if you're just drinking ground plant. And then you were listening to something on a vinyl record in a plaid button-up. Just thinking about how it ta or it sounds a lot better on vinyl than it ever would in a lossless recording. Like, that's hipster right there, man. Dude, I just, again, I love sequences where you're just walking through an area. Get to see stuff floating in the background. To admire the view. <laughs> yeah, Lunrail. Yeah, you, you have a single gear bike. <laughs> Fixed gear bike. No. Cuffed no. jeans. No. Oh, is it boss time? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa! Holy shit. Okay, so I can't dash through. Oh, dude, I jumped way too late. Oh, shit. do his heal.
getting better. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Look at our expression. We're just... Oh! Me? Never better. But the way you took that rojo out was amazing. So brave. That spirit went raw. And you went back, bing, boom. But I went pew, 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 in fact. and jumping. <laughs> well, you are safe now. So no need to be scared of it anymore. Oh me. You? Who is scared of you? Oh, because <laughs> I ran. <laughs> don't fear me. I know I'm intimidating, but game. you don't need to worry anymore. A game. We leapt over pits of spikes, sweated over stone blocks, encountered boat breakers for a game? Uh, <laughs> well, I am Zhao, shaman of Amanla. Look at her expression. And I wish to apologize to you for it's running like, ah! across the bridge. I was careless. Oh, thank you. Mm, thinking of it, that was a bit scary. My name is Liana. Liana, I seek the great spirit of the sky. You mean Impundulu? Yes. Do you know her? Impundulu. Yes. We would always play and laugh together. But then things started changing. A storm grew and grew, and Impundulu was Those not the same anymore. Ours. No laughing, no playing. She went to the skies. The storms never stopped. Then everyone was gone. I stayed for Impundulu. Impundulu sure is a great okay. name, man. But when I call her, she does not answer. That was who you were calling to on the bridge. Yes. I call and call and call and never an answer. She only stays within the skies. If we can just play again, me and her, then it will be okay. Liana, we need to stop these storms. For us to do so, we must get closer to the skies. Do you know how we can do that? Closer? I, I do, but the storms are... Now that is scary. The only way to reach the skies is through the waterworks, the highest point of Ica Oh, you mean climb up? Oh, yeah. But it has been locked since the village was abandoned. And the keys are... You need me to go down the and then go up? So oh, my God. This is a dream I... come true. Eliana, hey, I know you are brave. I can see it. How about together? we go together? Fast to the mines. Really? You really? will really? I will do my best. Yes! Thank you! I'm the best, Maybe man. Then Impundulu can play with me again. God, I love Thank the name you. Impundulu. I will see you by the entrance to the mines. Yes! Yes! Alright, I'm ready. Oh, the background is great. Liana. Soul surviving. Akaramban. Liana yearns for nothing more than to play with Mpundulu again, the great spirit of the sky. Jovial and childlike, Liana is a mind beyond her years. Determined to see Mpundulu, she is ever warm to Zhao's bravery and resolve. Also the best. So I need to go down before I go up? Sure. Remember, Zhao, Mpundulu must be passed to the realm of the dead. Then you should have taken her when you had the chance. Excuse me? Never mind. Is there something on your mind, Zhao? Leona is waiting for us. All right, so I've gone down. All right. Dude, no, dude, 215p. Yeah, the, the game is... It's just really nice. It's just really, really nice. Oh, yeah. 
No! No! I skipped it! No! Game's terrible. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh my god, Patrick Mende. How you doing, Patrick? Darling Patrick, how are you? So I assume maybe I need to go here, and then these are the mines, huh? Just watching some gaming. You came to the right place, Patrick. Only have about 20 more minutes of gaming in this body. And then I'm off, but... How's your day been, Pat? I always I'll call you by your full name, Patrick Mende. Would you go by Pat, Patrick? Patalonius? Patrick. Hell yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Uh uh uh. Didn't say the magic word. Alright, let's see here. Oh, wait, do I do? Okay, sorry, I figured it out. <laughs> Oh, rotato potatoes. Patificent? Yeah, I like Patificent, Ninja Gaz. You're right. Well, here we are. I present to you the great mines of Ica Caramba, where Ica the water Caramba. runs ever free. All right. Oh, uh, well, it used to. Then let us make it run free again. <laughs> where are the keys, Liana? Tell me where to go. There are two. I was playing with my friend Tabia, and we hit the keys. So probably I go all right the and then down. down at the bottom of the mine. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Why did you do that? Tabia thought it would be funny. Mzejabari, the mine keeper, was always playing jokes. So we wanted to get him back. Dude. Oh my god, go Sagan. Happy 150 months in a row. Also, god, Paisa, great to see you. Go Sagan, what game were you playing recently that I was watching you? You were streaming it like just one or two days ago. Um, what day? Were Wednesday? So it must have been yesterday, yeah. Good to see you in any case. But, you know, I, I will say the um, Disgaea, that's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, what up, drummer boy? Maybe we'll play some Cyber City A on the way out, huh? Uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, I, I genuinely um, like that we are getting more characterization and conversation and dialogue after I've played for a little bit. Like, after a little bit of gameplay. As opposed to, like, here's 15 characters we're going to introduce <laughs> you back and forth and back and I'm forth. I'm sure you found it funny. The storm had hit the village, so... Sorry, Liana. There is a lift further into the mine. Take that, and it will bring you down to down. where the keys are. Hello, Palpatine says, I expect this Liana then. to be a greater I character in disguise. Long. Classic trope. Oh. R1 skills. This is a whip of Lunar Blast. Yeah, I want this. Oh, I see now. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> what? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. The map is enormous. It's getting larger by the second. <clears throat> Earlier, 
when I said you should have taken him Bundulu when you had the chance. So much has happened, and I wonder whether things could have been prevented. Rare is it to change what has happened, but we can always choose how we move forward from it. The actions we are taking now will restore balance. That is what we must do, and we do so together. Okay. Okay. Oops. This is what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Oh, I have to go to the right. Okay. today yeah this is this is just started today mm, not today says, I love when games overlay dialogue with the gameplay rather than blocking the gameplay on it when it's possible. Dude, yes, 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 yes. 100%. Also, letter H, how are you doing? How goes Trash of the Titans? Did you get some good uh, results on the Steam Next Fest demo? Ah, it's a pit. <laughs> Did you get a little bit? Ah! Scramble to get early access out? Hell yeah. Wait, what? This, no, this. Oh, it's that side? Alright, fuck. Sharkbait says, hell yeah, that reminds me to go wishlist it. Yeah, you should all go on Steam and wishlist Trash of the Titans. Ooh, the camera angle's so good. Uh, by the way, uh, I don't know if there's any devs watching, but I have a bug I'd like to report. So, I'm holding left. I'm holding left. I'm going to hit the menu. Now, I'm holding left. Turn off the menu. My character isn't moving. I'm literally holding the left of the thumbstick, because I assume it resets the input tracking. So, I have to release the thumbstick, then press left again, and my character will move left. It's caused a couple of weirdnesses when I'm looking at the map, and then I unpause, and I have to, like, let my stick hit neutral before I can... My nickname is QA9TV. Left, left. Miss it for release, soon TM. Ah, yes. The tragedy of being a multi-platform release. So if I go down to three and chill for a little bit... Oh, it does go back up like that. Sharkbait says, I'm so glad my code deployments are measured in hours rather than having to deal with platform certifications. I'd go crazy if I wait so long to get changes. Out. Yeah. Doesn't Steam just let you, like, update however you want whenever? 
Doesn't seem just like, dude, it's your game, man. Go. I love how chaotic Valve can be. Do I slide? Oh, cool. Nice. Was it another challenge? so much little platforming puzzles getting rewarded for it love it letter h says it never ceases to amaze me how metroidvania devs are able to keep innovating on new movement and movement adjacent mechanics yeah i mean i also feel like it's a good example of you don't really need to reinvent everything like when there's something that's just satisfying like platforming movement. You just do that, and then you can add on a, a little something extra. genuinely think that like these little arenas where you're forced to fight are just terrific I think it's just amazing the second says Hollow Knight is a perfect example of how you really don't need to reinvent anything yeah I mean now that I think of it does Hollow Knight do anything new does it actually never quite stopped to think about it. Because if I think about, say, Dark Souls, like the way in which combat works at the time was very, very different. There. The fast key. One more to go. I don't actually think. I'm like running through some of the mechanics in my head. I mean, I think that maybe the way that it is composed, where it takes some of the harsh combat aspects of the Souls games and puts them into familiar Metroidvania motion. And, you know, I, okay, and the combat was... The combat was very tight, uh, and it went for a very, very tight 
type of combat loop, which is not exactly how, say, Castlevania Symphony of the Night works, where you just kind of like, you know, slay everything as you're wandering about. But I mean, like, if there's the thing that, or if you say, okay, Sean, well, what was, what was amazing about Hollow Knight? Genuinely, I think it's the fact that it made the exploration on a scope that is so much bigger than what you're typically used to. Oh my god. And I just, as I'm talking about Hollow Knight, I hit the Hollow Knight dash button instead of this game's dash button. <laughs> Learn something? Yeah, this, this game is just, it's just really nice. So I can, like, freeze the water so I can jump off it. Dude, hello, Palpatine. So I do not know why, but I'm thinking way back to Legacy of the Kane series and how well platform was done in 3D setting. Dude, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver is the game that I want to remaster of the most in all the world. I would do anything to replay through Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver with modern graphics. That's one of my favorite games of all time. It's so beautiful. I think I remember somewhere that Amy Hennig said that that was like her favorite game that she worked on. In Just career. one key remaining. It must be on the other side of the mine. Liana really thinks that playing with Impundulu is going to solve this. Denial this is actually a good spot for me to get to. Perception. Hmm. So I'm going to exit to the main menu of the game and just hold it there. So that way we can just have ourselves a little conversation before we depart. Um, the game was amazing. What an amazing first two plus hours of a platformer. Like, beautifully told story, beautiful world. A lot of the pacing of the motion moving through areas is just lovely. I mean, I, I mean, at this point, if you like Metroidvania games, you will like Zao. It has yet to present itself with the sort of scope and the freedom of exploration that other Metroidvanias do. I mean, we were just talking about Hollow Knight. Um, but that's one of the things that I think is terrific about the genre, is that it just doesn't need to. It doesn't really need to. Um, I mean, if you just have like a solid 8 to 20 hour experience, that's great. Dude says, is the game better than Ori? Um, you know, I would need to complete this to be able to give any evaluation about that. But also, I don't know yet what kind of game this is. Because, for instance, if you said, hey, what's better, uh, the game Inside or Factorio? They're, very, they're trying to do very, very, very different things. Um, it's like, what do you like more, dinner or having a car? I'm like, I don't know, you know, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just incredibly, incredibly solid. And I think the thing that this game does that's probably a step above other games in the genre that I've played is the storytelling and setting and connection back to that. So often, I feel like there's kind of... Let me take my, like my favorite single-player game of all time, Dark Souls 1. I don't care that I'm the chosen undead. Like I don't. Care. I just want. I want to go explore and look at some stuff. <laughs> I so I am sure in God of War. I don't really care that I'm Kratos. By the end of the story, by the end of those games, oh my God, yeah, the whole story of the Age of Fires collapse and my role in it in Dark Souls is beautiful. And replaying through that game is very meaningful. But so often with games, when you first start off playing, you just don't care about who the character is. You really, it's like, all right, cool, I gotta go into the castle. Nice. Oh, 
Richter Belmont's gone crazy, so I gotta kill him? You got it! Hey, there's my alarm to stop. And so I, I thought that this was an incredibly powerful way to get you to care about Zhao and care about Zhao's journey within like 10 minutes of playing the game. And as I was saying at the start, I think that whenever a game taps into a mythology that is rich and deep, that has its own references, not just to characters and worlds and stories, but also just like visual motifs and themes, when there's a really rich mythology that's being tapped into, it feels, oh, it's just, it's just a delight to navigate through. It's just an absolute freaking delight. Uh, and so I'm really excited to continue to play this game. I am not going to make a single decision on what I'm going to do tomorrow due to the fact that, uh, as I said before, I'm still trying to figure out, um, I'm still going to give myself a little bit of leeway and grace to gently figure out what's going to be happening streamwise over the next six to eight weeks, as I was talking about earlier in the stream. And so with that, I'm going to leave. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye-bye.